Let's talk about other user authentication options. Splunk native or built-in authentication provides the following default accounts, admin, power, user, and system, which we won't use. You can define your own roles and capabilities as well. Splunk also supports a scripted authentication API, and in this way we can integrate Splunk authentication with an external authentication system. This is often used for SAML. Multi-factor authentication is also supported in Splunk, and Splunk supports two MFA providers, Duo Security and RSA. And we won't go too deeply into each of these, but we do need to know the process for setting up multi-factor authentication in each one. So for Duo, you create an account on Duo.com, then you configure Splunk either by using the Splunk web or editing the authentication.conf file under the 2FA stanza, and then the user logs in. Here are the things that you'll need to know, and you can get these things by registering an account on Duo. You'll need the application secret key, the integration key, the secret key, the API host name, and you'll need to select what happens when Duo security is unavailable. Do we still let users log in or do we block that? And then we have a connection timeout value. For RSA, it's a bit more complicated. RSA has an on-premises authentication manager that you configure. And then you get the REST service URL and you get the access key. Then you can choose how to configure Splunk. You can use the Splunk web. You can use the direct edit of the authentication.conf file under the 2FA stanza. Or in RSA, you can simply use a REST endpoint. And finally, the user logs in at the end.